So the Marshall family are one of 100 different families that lived here at Susanna Place. Ellen and Dennis Marshall moved in with Ellen's daughter Jenny, who was nine years old at the time, and they lived here from 1962 until 1990. And they actually the last family that ever lived here at Susanna Place. And when we came here, the, the man from the Maritime Services said, look, you'll only be there six months because Wallace was going to flatten the whole area and rebuild. And they said, don't bother getting any lino or curtains or blinds or anything because you'll only be there six months. And 26 years later, we left. So in 1962, when they moved in, the rocks were on the cusp of redevelopment. The state government had announced plans to revitalise the historic rocks area into a modern new uh, entrance for the Circular Quay and that was going to involve knocking down all the old houses like Susanna Place and replacing them with high rise. And so the Marshalls actually were moved in in a really interesting time when that was just about to kick off and by the time they left in 1990 they were the only tenants left at Susanna Place. They became unofficial caretakers and they really looked after Susanna Place before it became a museum. And oh, very often we were asked, you know, have you got electricity in your squat? <laughs> Water, which we very quickly told them that we were caretakers, you know, thing, thing. Because nobody had ever offered us a caretakership and we, we just decided that we would keep the houses from being vandalised. So it's thanks to Ellen sitting at her industrial sewing machine, whipping up curtains for each of the empty houses, making them look lived in and loved, that deterred vandalism, that the houses survived and were looked after really well. So in the late 1980s, when the then Historic Houses Trust, now Sydney Living Museums, became involved, the marshals felt they had done their job to protect the houses and so they moved out. And when they left, they actually took the entire contents of this house, all their furniture with them, to Campbelltown. Up until now, the museum's only been able to tell the story about the different families who've lived here using props and really deeply researched material that actually didn't belong to the people who lived here. Back in 2019, a really exciting phone call um, came to me and that phone call was from Jenny Whitford. Her mum who had passed away a few years earlier and she asked me would you like any of the um, furniture and the material that Ellen, her mum, had had here at Susanna Place. So without a moment's hesitation the answer of course is yes because the Marshall Collection is the first time that we've ever had a collection, a comprehensive collection of furniture, furnishings, knickknacks, books, all manner of things that are actually um, provenance or original to the family that lived here. One of the things that was really helpful in this process is that Ellen Marshall and her daughter Jenny were actually interviewed about their life here at Susanna Place. So we've got this really amazing comprehensive story about this family and Ellen was asked sort of mundane questions really like where was that piece of furniture? Where did you have your wardrobe? Where was the fridge? Can you remember what was on the mantelpiece? All of these questions to help trigger her memories as she walked through the empty house and it was amazing. Peter's drumstick. <laughs> now I painted the fireplace around red for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. And we had lots and of and a, a, cupboard. a cupboard that I had here, I painted that red too. Because we had a red table. Must be going through a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> In the old history, Ellen describes herself and Dennis as bowerbirds. So they were people who very rarely threw anything away. And that meant that a lot of the things that they had in the museum were still at their house in Campbelltown and still being used. So when I went to the house with Jenny, what I discovered were all of these things that she had talked about in her oral history. So for a curator, that is this most amazing once in a lifetime opportunity to, to access a collection like this and actually for the generosity of Jenny Whitford and her family to actually donate it has been an extraordinary gift to Sydney Living Museums. If you've ever 
packed up a house that belongs to a loved one that, you, that is no longer with you. It's an incredibly emotional time. And so the process took almost a year. Every time we came across an object that belonged to Suzanne Plays, I would ask Jenny questions about it. And it often brought up memories that were new stories for me as a curator about the house and how different rooms were used and the things they had in them, but also stories connected to sometimes what are some of the most mundane things. So even tiny trinkets that used to belong in a china cabinet, um, elicited all these amazing stories from Jenny about her childhood and growing up here at Susanna Place. And that is the power of objects and which is why the power of the real objects is really important. And what makes this collection absolutely extraordinary is that the collection relates to every room in this house. And what it means for the museum is that we can actually recreate spaces that tell the story of the Marshall family but also the story of the houses through real objects that these people owned, interacted with, purchased, repainted, loved. So it's an amazing opportunity for the museum. And number 62 actually bears traces of the Marshall family still to this day. So when Ellen arrived here in 1962, the house was what was called Maritime Brown. So the bright paint colours are all chosen by Ellen Marshall to give the house a real lift. And we also know where large pieces of the furniture were placed because in the kitchen, when they repainted the kitchen bright, um, sort of canary yellow, they actually didn't move the large kitchen dresser. And so that kitchen dresser has now come back to fill that gap. Ellen's really um, heavy industrial sewing machine left footprint marks in the linoleum on the floor, so we actually know where it was positioned in the room. So those sort of physical traces left on the building, along with the oral history of Ellen talking about living here and actually being here and talking about it, has actually helped us create a really in-depth family story about the Marshalls. So it's a really special time for the museum. You know, this is actually the one and only opportunity that we will ever have to recreate a house using original material. The collection is full of really tiny, intimate things that are just really deeply personal. They're all sort of, you know, uh, ordinary objects, but they actually tell lovely little stories to them. And I think the power of the real object in our museums, this project has really brought that to Susanna Place.